today i am going to tell you on an important topic that is bit planes by the help of bit planes a grayscale image can be transformed into a sequence of binary image this concept is very much useful for the projects like visual cryptography here the image given as input is sliced into 8 bit planes so today i am going to show you how to slice it in 8 bit planes and how to show each and every plane for that image so let's start in matlab first you have to enter an image for that the command is im read next you have to convert it into the grayscale image i already showed you in my previous videos how to insert an image or how to convert it into a grayscale that is rgb to gray now you have to convert it into the double in my last video i already showed you how to be why we need double command because here we have to perform some arithmetic operations because each and every pixel is consists of matrix so we have to convert the values of that mat particular matrix in binary numbers so we have to convert this image into the double scale here there is a formula that mod of cd comma 2 because the minimum value which we need to convert into binary is 2 here we are just adding the floor command because the floor is used to round the value of the next similar integer or to discard the remainder the next one will be cd mod floor cd by 4 in comma 2 here we are going for those pixels who are containing the value of 4 similarly the next one will be cd divided by 8 next one will be cd divided by 16 next one will be cd divided by 32 as we are calculating in bits here each and every number is related to the exponent of 2 like 2 to the power 1 2 square 2 to 2 cube 2 to the power 4 2 to the power 5 and 2 to the power 6 the next one will be cd divided by 128 that is 2 to the power 7 and the last one is 2 to the power 8 that is 256 here we can use up to 256 because we can only slice it in 8 bit plane or we can say 2 to the power 8 pixel value so here we are going to show each and every formula in terms of their output image for that we have to use figure command here figure is used to show each and every image separately Now we are going to run this. As you see, the last figure showing you the most significant bit, which is 256, and it is containing the maximum value of that image. But the most important thing is that first one is showing least significant image, which might be used to store some other image of embedded watermarks or just slicing it in 8 bit place now we want to recover our original image for that there is also a formula by the help of this formula we are converting each and every because most of the cases the image format is unsigned 8 bit So now we are going to run this program. Look here we get back our original image. Here for visual cryptography project 
we have to convert this image to its least significant number that is this image after adding our required text or image in this image in we have to convert it in its original format so i am concluding here but it is one of the most important topic of image processing so if you have any kind of doubt or suggestion please comment below and also please like share and subscribe thank you very much